Okay, next up I have a film called Girl in a Mirror, a portrait of Carol Jerrams. Uh, Carol Jerrams was a, an artist, a photographer in Melbourne uh, in the 1970s. Um, I'm not attempting to cover up the cover of the DVD there. Um, that's one of her famous works called Vale Street. Um, and if it's good enough to hang in the National Gallery at Canberra and feature on the cover of the DVD, I think it's okay to show on YouTube. Um, Carol actually died at the age of 30 um, from a rare blood cancer. Um, and this film traces her rise from gifted student to uh, a taboo, shattering artist. Um, and it also documents her life and work with interviews uh, with friends and associates. Um, it's a really beautiful uh, documentary and it's a great introduction to the work of, um, of Carol Jerrams. Um, this has been on the ABC, I saw, first saw this on the ABC and um, I've tracked the DVD down, DVD down after that and I picked this up for a fairly good price but um, this is well worth having a look at. Um, an amazing lady, really captured a, a, a generation and a culture in her work. Um, so yeah, that's worth having a look at. It's called um, Girl in a Mirror. Okay, next up I have uh, Taxi to the Dark Side. This is a documentary uh, by Alex Gibney. Uh, it's the winner of the 2008 Academy Award for Best Documentary. Uh, the film focuses on uh, an innocent Afghan taxi driver called Dilawa who was wrongly arrested and sent to Bagram Prison. Uh, five days later he was found dead in his cell. Um, sort of paraphrasing off the, off the back of this, um, it's a definif definitive exploration to the introduction of torture as an interrogation technique in the US facilities and the role played by the key figures of the Bush administration in the process. Um, it's a pretty harrowing um, documentary but uh, it's very informative and engrossing and I highly recommend this one to you uh, to have a look at. Um, this is an umbrella release, um, good quality release. I don't think there's any extras on there, but um, well worth having a look at. That's um, Taxi to the Dark Side. Uh, the next film is the 1955 film by Alan Rene, uh, Night and Fog. Um, this is the Criterion edition. This is probably the first film to really uh, document the Holocaust. Um, it only runs for 32 minutes. But it says more in 32 minutes than a lot of films will say in a couple of hours. Um, this was filmed at several concentration camps in Poland. Um, it combines uh, colour, black and white footage from newsreels, um, footage shot by the Allied forces, uh, still uh, photographs, um, and it combines them with footage taken, um, say 1955 when this film was made. Uh, like I said, this is the Criterion edition. Um, there is a Region 4 edition of this film released by Umbrella um, and certainly worth seeing at least once in a lifetime. That's Night and Fog. Another film worth seeing at least once in a lifetime is the last film I'm going to show here today. Um, it's called Shoah. Um, this has a running time of 541 minutes and 40 seconds to be precise. Um, it's spread over four DVDs, um, and if you saw this film in a cinema, you'd be sitting there for nine and a half hours, because that's how long it runs for. Um, it's not a television documentary series, it is actually a cinematic film. Um, it only has one official break, and that's between the first and second era of this film, which is roughly halfway through. Um, this is the Umbrella Edition. Like I said, it's spread out over four DVDs. Um, and what happens is between the first and second DVD, the film just stops and it's just asks you to insert the next disc. So the film just literally continues on. Um, between disc two and three, there's the official break. And then between disc three and four, the film just stops and you're asked to insert the next disc again. Um, this is an amazing film. It documents the Holocaust through uh, survivors. Um, they tell their stories. There is not one piece of archival footage in this film. Um, it's all uh, footage taken from around 1985, which is when this film was made. 
um, but you wouldn't believe how effective it is. It's not boring for a second, this film. It's totally riveting from start to finish, and it's harrowing. Um, don't think for a minute that it's easy going. I mean, the film virtually grabs you by the throat from the, the word go. It doesn't sort of ease you in. The stories are uh, incredibly tragic, and um, yeah, it's, but it is one film that you really need to see at least once in a lifetime. Um, if you can pick up the UK edition, it's very similar to this, but it also comes with a 184-page book. So, um, yeah, an amazing film, this one. Um, check it out. It's called uh, Shower, and it goes for 541 minutes. So that's it for the documentary update, guys. Um, I hope I've inspired you to maybe have a look at a few of these films. Um, thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And I'll be back soon with, hopefully, a Blu-ray update. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye.